Oxidized gold ore. Oxidized gold ore refers to gold-bearing rock that has undergone a chemical reaction with oxygen, typically through natural processes like weathering and exposure to water and air. This oxidation alters the original composition of the minerals, leading to changes in how the gold is distributed and how it can be extracted. In gold deposits, oxidized ore usually forms in the upper layers, where exposure to atmospheric oxygen promotes the breakdown of sulfides and other minerals containing gold. Oxidized ores often contain free milling gold, meaning that the gold particles are relatively easy to recover through simple processes like gravity separation or cyanidation. The oxidation process breaks down compounds like pyrite, iron sulfide, or arsenopyrite, iron arsenic sulfide, which can otherwise lock the gold in a hard-to-reach form. The treatment of oxidized gold ore depends largely on its composition. The simpler forms of these ores can often be processed through heap leaching, where a cyanide solution is trickled through a pile of crushed ore to dissolve the gold. The dissolved gold is then collected at the bottom and extracted. In cases where the oxidation process has left the gold in fine particles or a more complex mineral form, flotation techniques may be required. Oxidized gold ore can also be associated with other valuable metals such as silver and copper, which can be recovered during the gold extraction process. However, not all oxidized gold ores are economically viable to process. The concentration of gold and the ease of extraction can vary widely, making it essential to assess the ore's profitability before large-scale mining operations begin. Over time, understanding the geology of oxidized ore bodies has allowed miners to exploit these resources efficiently, often leading to significant gold production, particularly in regions with rich weathered deposits. How does oxidized gold ore occur? Oxidized gold ore forms as a result of complex natural processes that typically involve the exposure of gold-bearing rocks to atmospheric oxygen, water, and other environmental conditions over extended periods of time. The oxidation process plays a critical role in transforming the original mineralogy of the ore, especially in gold deposits found near the surface, making the gold more accessible for extraction. 1. Weathering and exposure to oxygen. The formation of oxidized gold ore begins with weathering, a geological process where rocks are broken down by physical and chemical forces. In gold-bearing deposits, oxidation occurs when sulfide minerals in the ore, such as pyrite, iron sulfide, arsenopyrite, iron arsenic sulfide, or chalcopyrite, copper iron sulfide, are exposed to oxygen in the atmosphere or dissolved in water. When these minerals come into contact with oxygen, they react to form oxides, hydroxides, and other secondary minerals, releasing the gold trapped within. For example, pyrite, FeS2, which is a common gold-hosting mineral, reacts with oxygen and water to produce iron oxides and sulfuric acid in a process known as oxidation. The iron oxides, such as hematite or gothite, are often left behind, while the sulfuric acid can dissolve into the surrounding environment, helping to mobilize other elements. Gold, which does not oxidize easily and remain stable, may be released from its locked form and can accumulate in the weathered zone as free milling particles. 2. Formation of Oxidation Zones In many gold deposits, oxidized ore is found in a distinct zone called the oxidation zone or weathering profile, which typically sits above unoxidized or sulfide-rich ore. The depth and thickness of the oxidation zone depend on the climate, geologic history, and local environmental conditions. The more exposure to oxygen and water, the deeper and more extensive the oxidation process. This oxidation zone is often divided into layers. Supergene Enrichment Zone This zone lies just below the oxidized surface layer and contains highly concentrated gold. Gold may have been leached and reprecipitated here, forming rich pockets of high grade ore. Leached cap Above the enrichment zone, the uppermost layers of the oxidized ore may be poor in gold content. In this layer, much of the metal may have been leached away by groundwater and acidic solutions. In arid or semi arid climates, where evaporation outpaces the infiltration of water, oxidation processes can be slower. However, 
in tropical or temperate regions where rainfall is high and oxygen-rich water permeates deeply into the ground, oxidized gold ores can form much more quickly. 3. Geochemical Processes in Oxidation The geochemistry of the oxidation process involves several reactions. Oxidation of sulfides, sulfide minerals react with oxygen to form sulfuric acid, which in turn reacts with other minerals to release metals like gold, copper, and silver. The iron sulfide is oxidized to iron oxide, hematite, and sulfuric acid is formed. Sulfuric acid can dissolve other minerals, freeing the gold from its matrix. Dissolution and reprecipitation, as sulfuric acid generated by sulfide oxidation seeps through the rock, it dissolves metals and minerals. Some of the gold in solution can migrate downward and reprecipitate in the supergene enrichment zone, leading to high-grade ore pockets. This reprecipitation can result in more concentrated and finer gold, which is easier to extract. Formation of secondary minerals, along with iron oxides, other secondary minerals such as clay minerals, limonite, a mixture of hydrated iron oxides, and quartz may form, further altering the ore structure. These minerals create the characteristic yellowish to reddish color of oxidized ore, often making it visually distinct from the darker, unoxidized sulfide ores found at greater depths. 4. Geological Environments for Oxidation Oxidized gold ore is typically found in specific types of geological environments. Many large gold deposits occur in regions where tectonic activity, volcanic processes, or hydrothermal activity have brought gold-bearing sulfide minerals to the surface. Over millions of years, these deposits undergo weathering and oxidation. The most common geological settings where oxidized gold ore occurs include Epithermal deposits, formed in volcanic regions by shallow hydrothermal fluids, these deposits are often rich in gold and silver and prone to surface oxidation. Porphyry systems, large, low-grade deposits associated with intrusive igneous rocks. Oxidized zones in porphyry deposits can contain significant concentrations of gold. Carlin-type deposits, these sediment-hosted deposits are common in Nevada and are characterized by finely disseminated gold in carbonate rocks. Oxidized ore in these deposits can form rich zones of freemilling gold. 5. Impact on mining and processing. The occurrence of oxidized gold ore significantly influences how the ore is mined and processed. Since oxidation breaks down the complex mineral matrix, it often leads to the release of freemilling gold, making the ore easier to process compared to unoxidized sulfide ore, where the gold is more refractory or locked up in minerals that resist chemical reactions. In oxidized gold ore, cyanidation, leaching gold with a cyanide solution, is a common processing technique. Because the oxidation has already broken down much of the sulfide content, the gold can be dissolved in cyanide solutions more easily. In other cases, heap leaching, where crushed oxidized ore is piled and treated with a cyanide solution, is effective for large-scale, low-grade deposits. In some cases, gravimetric separation techniques can also be used to recover freemilling gold from oxidized ores. 6. Economic Importance Many of the world's most productive gold mines contain significant zones of oxidized ore. Because of its relative ease of extraction compared to refractory sulfide ores, oxidized gold ore has historically been an important source of gold. Mining companies prioritize these deposits due to their lower processing costs, especially in the early stages of mining when they are located near the surface. As a result, understanding the processes behind the formation of oxidized gold ore is critical for successful exploration and mining efforts.